What's up, everybody? My name is Julian Davis. Hi, my name is Carrie Jinks. Hey, guys, it's Emma. Hi, my name is Juliana Kirchi. Hey, y'all, my name's Grace. Hey, guys, for those who don't know me, my name's Seth. Hello, my name is Jacob Shaw. Hi, this is Josie Brobeck. Hi, my name is Grace Foster. Hi, my name is Lucy Real. Hi, my name is Kaylee Odinski. Okay, so I'm Gavin, and this is Brian. I'm Elliot Dang. What's up, guys? It's Austin. Hi, my name is Sarah Richter. Hi, I'm Sarah Suba. My name is Lorenzo Croci. Hi, I'm Emily Dennison. My name is Rory Tedrick. Hey, my name's Jonathan Davis. Hey, it's Joanna. Um... Wow, has Christ done so many incredible things in my life. I made my relationship with Christ my own around early middle school. Um, I became a Christian when I was in first grade. I did not really make that my own faith until I was in eighth grade. I have grown up in a Christian home all my life, but it wasn't until I was in middle school when I truly made my faith my own. I grew up in church and in third grade I accepted Christ in my heart. Ever since then, I know my life wouldn't be the same. I officially gave my life to Christ in the beginning of the year 2018 at Midwinter Retreat. I kind of knew what it meant to uh, love Jesus. You know, I kind of, I understood, you know, he died on the cross for me, um, things like that. But I never, I didn't really take it seriously until I was probably 14 or 15. I first made my relationship with Christ official in sixth grade on my 12th birthday. My relationship with Jesus means everything to me. God has worked in my life a lot recently. I recently just finished my final year of basketball. I bring that up because basketball is a huge part of my life. Anybody that knows me knows that I love the game of basketball. Now, years ago, I was told that I wasn't good enough for the game. And fast forward to my senior year, I dealt with some things during the season that um, allowed those things and those thoughts to come back and haunt me and Satan used all that against me. It hasn't been the easiest thing. I've struggled with many seasons of doubt, depression, and anxiety. This year has been one of the hardest years of my life. I have faced a lot of trials and tribulations. I'm going to share with you guys just um, a bit of my testimony from the past um, just several months in my life. and. Um, so it kind of started like months ago where um, some things started to happen in my life and I just really started to experience some just really depressing moods and whatnot and I was just really struggling. You know, I was broken. I was dead in my sins. I was going into my freshman year of high school. I felt that I was having a big identity crisis and I felt that the way I acted and the way I thought wasn't the same as everyone else. Me thinking that I'm not good enough, me thinking that people just hate me. years back I made a lot of poor decisions throughout college and it kind of led me down a pretty dark path was not focusing on Christ whatsoever really struggled with um, uh, rebellion I was very stubborn uh, disobedient I lied a lot um, and those were things that really affected my relationship most important with my parents, but also with some of my friends. I really pushed God away, and I really, I felt like I didn't need God, and I, I, you know, pushed him to the side, and I didn't pick up my Bible, I didn't read my Bible, I didn't go to church for a while, I kind of avoided it. Now more than ever, I'm recognizing the need to have things in my life like joy and hope. I know who I am and I am, and my identity is in Christ. I've come to know that He is that comfort in unknowing times. When the world is just full of so much anxiety and stress, God is constant and He does not fail us. The Lord set me free completely. I really do feel like that old me you know, died. He's healed me from depression, 
anxiety and so much more. Um, God has really been so gracious to me and you know there's so much beauty and surrender and he's helping me see that. <laughs> Jesus has changed my life for the for the better. I'm I no I I am I am And so about the halfway point, Zane almost had all control over my mind and thoughts about how I look at the game. And I just wanted to throw everything down the drain, everything that I worked for, gone. And so I went to talk to God because this is my favorite thing to do. Um, and he told me, first of all, you're more than good enough. Um, it's the fact that we serve a God of love. And even though I rejected God and even though I pushed him away, he was always there knocking at my door. I've been through a lot in my life and I've gotten to the point where I can look back and see that everything I've gone through is for a reason. I've come to know that he is that comfort in unknowing times, that he is um, my shepherd, that he is the light in my life. I feel like he's just constant um, and he has proven himself to be there, not only for me, but I know that for other people in their lives. helped me through times of stress at school, middle school and high school. Just being able to have somebody there who I know loves me and will take care of me. Um, he's just a great God and life is amazing with him. Putting me back on the right track and um, it's just great because he, he gave me a second chance basically. God's really gotten me through a lot of things. He's been there. Um, I think it's especially potent right now that idea that he's here. I feel like he's been able to help me grow in my faith so much with this time alone with him. I have purpose because of him and I know where my identity stands because of my relationship with Christ. My identity um, is in Christ. Celebrate that every day knowing that Christ is on my side and that he has never given up on me even when I've given up on myself. Because Christ perfect and blameless and ever since the word came to earth to offer himself up as a true and better sacrifice because he died, because he was buried and because he rose again three days later, we are changed. The Lord can really do the impossible in any situation so it doesn't matter what you've been through what's happened to you what you've done when you really have true saving faith in Jesus he completely washes you clean he gives you the Holy Spirit you have God dwelling inside you it's more than ever I'm starting to recognize that my life with Christ is good and without him um, there truly would be an absence of anything good so easy to get upset and frustrated when we can't see the whole picture, but it's not our job to see the whole picture. 